In the future, the United States is experiencing a severe drought. People can only wash dishes with sand, then blow the sand away. If you want to drink water, you have to buy it at a water station, just like you used to buy gas. And those who can't afford water will have to drink liquor that was produced decades ago. Ernest and his family live in a house made of shipping containers. They don't have much money, so they usually eat some slimy food to stay hydrated. Ernest owns a large piece of land, but the land is useless without water. Every day, Ernest and his son Jerome would walk for hours to deliver supplies to the water plant workers, they make a living doing so. On this day, Ernest says to the foreman Caleb that he wants the water pipe to be laid towards his farm. But Ernest has no money to bribe Caleb, so Caleb rejects him. On the way back, the donkey accidentally falls to the ground and breaks its leg. With a broken leg, the donkey becomes a liability, and Ernest has to end the donkey's life. The next morning, Ernest and Jerome come to the auction house in the town. They buy a robot donkey, which costs them almost all their money. After getting the robot donkey, the two come to the water station to buy water. Ernest is so thirsty that he holds the nozzle and drinks it directly, and that's $50. Even though water is so precious, the kind Ernest is still willing to share it with others. Ernest's daughter Mary has a boyfriend named Flem, who is a troublemaker and has no respect for Ernest. He comes to Ernest's house and wants to borrow the robot donkey, but Ernest refuses him. But Mary loves Flem very much. Ernest does not allow Flem to see Mary, and for this reason, Mary often argues with Ernest. To keep Mary from going out, Ernest even nails her door and windows. One day, Ernest finds that the lock of the warehouse is damaged, he opens the door and finds that the robot donkey is gone. He remembers that Flem wanted to borrow the robot donkey from him a few days ago but was refused, so he suspects that it was Flem who stole it. Ernest arrives at Flem's house, where Flem's father tells him that Flem is making a delivery to the water plant workers. Apparently, Flem stole the robot donkey and then used it for delivery. Ernest goes into the hills with his gun, he wants to get his robot donkey back. Unexpectedly, he is knocked out from behind. Ernest wakes up to find that he is surrounded by a group of workers with knives. The workers say that Ernest stole their supplies with a robot donkey. Ernest explains that his donkey was stolen and that their supplies were stolen by someone else, but none of them believe him. Ernest is agile, he snatches his gun back and manages to escape. In the morning, Ernest finally finds Flem, who is sleeping at the moment. Ernest ties up Flem, he wants to take Flem to the workers and return the supplies to them. Halfway there, the two are severely dehydrated. Before they reach the water plant, Ernest gradually believes Flem and unties him. It turns out that Flem also wants to bring the land back to life, but he thinks Ernest should not beg the foreman. While Ernest is weak, Flem suddenly attacks Ernest with a stone. Then Flem pours liquor into Ernest's mouth. The alcohol accelerates the dehydration and Ernest soon dies. Jerome and Mary are devastated by the loss of their father, but they know nothing of his death, and they even accept Flem to move in with them. Later, Flem goes to the foreman. Flam takes out a knife with the foreman's name on it and threatens him to change the route of the water pipe, or he will tell everyone that Ernest was killed by the foreman. Since Ernest had a fight with the foreman a few days ago, everyone will surely believe it. The foreman is angry, but he has to agree. Flem works very hard in the field as he prepares for the water to come. Soon the water pipes reach their farm, and with the water, wheat grows. A few months later, looking at the ripe wheat, Flem feels more satisfied than ever. But soon he runs into a big problem. Three bank employees find Flem. It turns out that Ernest borrowed a huge amount of money from the bank a year ago, and now they want to take the land to cover the debt. With the water, the value of the land has increased tenfold. Flem thinks the land should belong to him, he will not let them take it. To pay off the debt, Flem comes up with a plan. He tricks his friend Robbie's child and then sells it to a trafficker. Unexpectedly, the trafficker breaks the deal and kills Robbie. Flem is also attacked, but he manages to escape. The robot donkey gets shot during the gunfight, it is damaged. Soon, its back to manufacturer program is activated and it starts limping back to the maintenance center on its own. According to the contact information on the robot donkey, the manufacturer calls Ernest's son Jerome. That's when Jerome realizes that the robot donkey comes with a camera, which records everything. At the maintenance center, when Jerome sees the footage of himself and his father, he smiles. But then he is shot because he sees Flem murdering his father in the footage. And he has been living with Flem for a year without knowing anything about it. Then he sees that the death of his best friend Robbie is also caused by Flem. But Jerome didn't tell his sister the truth, he comes up with a revenge plan. Jerome sends a letter to Flem in Robbie's name, saying that he is not dead, and asks Flem to bring some food to him. Flem is suspicious but still goes to the location mentioned in the letter. Suddenly, Flem falls into a pit trap set by Jerome in advance, he breaks his leg. Then Jerome appears, with a stone in his hand. Flem realizes that Jerome has learned the truth, so he begs Jerome to forgive him, saying that he should not make his sister a widow. 
But no matter what Flem says, Jerome won't let him go, and then Jerome raises his gun. Later, Jerome takes the robot donkey back to the farm. To cover up the truth, Jerome deletes all the video records in the robot donkey and never mentions the matter again. As time passes, Mary gradually accepts the fact that Flem has left, and the brother and sister live a simple but happy life. I'm Movie Ape, thanks for watching.